Tell it not in Gat. Proclaim it not in the streets of Ashkelon. This famous quote from the second book of Samuel refers to the southern Israeli coastal city of Ashkelon as a significant stronghold of the Philistines, a notorious society, and the ancient Israelites' biggest rival. But apparently Ashkelon was also a lavish city during another famous era, that of the Roman Empire. Here in Tel Ashkelon, someone went mad. They built a basilica of 110 square meters. It's like a soccer stadium in our time. This basilica was uncovered recently after years of excavation and construction work, which is still ongoing at the site. The National Gardens and Parks Authority is now working on rebuilding this 2,000-year-old basilica, including 12 to 17 Roman columns, around 10 meters high. Together with the Israeli antiquity authorities, we will bring back the structure of this basilica. The tourists could walk around the structure and be impressed from this magnificent magnificent compound. We also plan to renovate this impressive Odeon and make it accessible to tourist groups for small shows and other events, so we'll restore the ancient use of this place. The items found here are concentrated around two main areas, the 2nd century CE and the 1st century BCE, the time of King Herod the Great, the most famous king who's associated with some of the most iconic sites in the Holy Land, such as the Second Jewish Temple, Caesarea, and Masada. We found ancient coins here with the inscription of Herod the Great, so we can give an accurate estimate that this structure was built during the time of King Herod. If we look at the writing of Josephus, he writes in his book that Herod built many sites in Ashkelon, including a huge column palace. The rebuilding of this arena also includes these ancient statues from the Roman era. Some of them consist of rare and beautiful descriptions of the Greek Roman goddess of victory, who's standing on an orb, which is supported by the Greek mythological hero Atlas, who, according to Roman Greek mythology, held up the world. 100 years ago, a British archaeologist named Gerson was the first to excavate the Roman basilica here in Tel Ash. He used all methods, like digging trenches, but he did find some of the most beautiful statues ever found from the Roman Empire era. Ashkelon suffered from rocket attacks during the Israel-Hamas escalation in May. But everyone who's involved in this project believes it may be one of the most impressive and interesting archaeological parks in the Holy Land, which may also bring back the glory days of Ashkelon.